This is how Avril Lavigne f***ed the game up. Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne. Canadian punk rock goddess. Yes, she's Canadian. I feel like a lot of people forget that. Last late boys, you guys should know the big bomb of conspiracy theory that left the internet world shook. Trump who? Russia what? Nope, it's all about Avril. Or shall we say Melissa. And for those of you guys that don't know what the hell I'm talking about, living under rocks is uncomfortable, B. Fix it. Long story short, Avril is sitting up in heaven watching her look like fool everybody like. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me, bitch. <laughs> Comparing facial features, birthmarks, Miles. and most people right now are like, wow. Oh my god. Canada is a snake for that. What the fuck's a nigga, bro? And I'm just sitting here like, bitch. We been new. I ain't new to this game. This box been open. Kool-Aid been drunk. Not only do I know this is true, nor know what a nigga is, I also have further proof proving the bitch dead. Reading in between the lines. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be niggied. I don't think that's how it works. So this is how Avril Lavigne did the thing with the thing and the Melissa girl. Yeah. So a few years ago, over a decade actually, now I feel old, Avril, or shall I say Melissa, released her biggest number one hit, a song titled Girlfriend. Something that I'll never have for reasons that should be very obvious by now. In this song, she says the line. Hey, hey, you, you. Two words. Two times. Two people. Two girls. Two worlds. Both worlds. As in best in both worlds. As in Hannah Montana with a limo out front. <laughs> Hannah Montana doesn't actually live in Montana, but lives in Malibu. Miley Cyrus has a new song called Malibu. Which means... That's right. Miley Cyrus and Hannah Montana knew each other once. I am a genius. Oh, yeah. In Miley's new music video, she is running by the beach with balloons. Balloons ride with macaroons. Macaroons are often mistaken as the French macaron. French people eat baguettes. You know who else eats baguettes? F***ing Hannah Montana. <laughs> Where was I going with this? Oh, Hannah Montana has blonde hair while Miley has brown. Avril Lavigne had brown hair, then switches to blonde. Blonde is the title of Frank Ocean's album, which contains a song called Nike. Nike is a brand with a symbol of a check mark. Brand. Brand rhymes with Sam. As in Sam and Cat. The weird ass unneeded spinoff show on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Nickel. A nickel equals five cents. A quarter is a cent. Quarter. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is the title of Adele's album. Adele stole the Grammy from Beyonce. Ain't nobody gonna find me on that one because you know it's true. Stole. Stole rhymes with pole. Strippers ride on pole. Ain't no who else rode on a pole. And Hannah Montana's best friend Miley Cyrus, who had a song Malibu, which featured balloons. Balloons rhyme with spoons, which rhymes with tombs. Tombs are where they bury the dead, which is where Avril Lavigne is lying right now. Avril Lavigne is dead confirmed. But what about the imposter? Well, you see, Avril Lavigne had two eyes. Two times two equals four. Four divided by two equals two. Melissa, however the fuck you say her name, has two arms. Arms rhymes with farm, as in Farmville. Farmville is a game played by million. Million. El Salvador has. 6 million people. 6 times 111 is 666. 666. Illuminati. Illuminati. Illuminate. Illumination. Illumination Studios. Minions. The minions live in this house and. <gasps> What do I see? Melissa Vadalala is a clone set by the evil minion Illuminati confirmed. But wait! Melissa has probably been to Malibu once. So she probably knew Miley Cyrus. Who knew Hannah Montana. Which means... <gasps> Melissa Volkswagen is Billy Ray Cyrus. I knew it! Sweet niblets. More like dirty lies. Why am I suddenly craving baguettes? Imposters have completely taken over the world. They have consumed every corner, every street. No stone left unturned. Hitler, Stalin, American Dragon Jake Long, Norma Bates, God, Chris Brown, Dumbledore, Tyra Banks, The Devil, Corey Baxter, Hammerhead Shark, Sid the Sloth, the list never ends. And what can we do to stop it? We just have to take our woke privilege and continuously tweet about student loans, avocado toast, and Mel Roberts until our millennial problems are solved by SpongeBob memes. Oh, and vote. Please vote. Y'all need to vote. This can happen one more time, one more again, in one more place. Uh-uh, no, not to God, not on my watch. Shit, nah. <laughs>